Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Google Helpful Content Update. What is it? And what does it mean for AI tools? Is it game over or can you still use them? All right, so I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute. And if you're new to this channel, we cover everything from AI tools, text to speech, and basically uh, software and automation to grow your YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing I want to talk to you about is Google Helpful Content Update and what it is. So if you go to this link, which I'll leave in the description, you can go ahead and see what this update's about by Google. And it's obviously it says focus on people first content. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get rid of all this spammy articles written by not really, really poorly uh, written articles. Okay. So, um, for those of you who can remember the time when the article spinners came out and, and it's trying to get rid of that. All right. So there's a lot of article spinners that came out. It would basically just substitute words within the article and it, it made like the article unreadable, but it was a way to game the system to make the article seem unique and they would just stuff keywords in it. And eventually the internet was flooded with, really really poorly written articles and google came up with the update so th this is basically the same thing happening again with ai tools now what does it mean for ai tools though well it means that for some ai tools like um well let me let me explain later on some ai tools i don't think will survive this and others will but it's not so much the ai tool it's how you use it so let me explain what i mean by that uh, what I think will be affected by this this update, and you can go ahead and, and, and read this, is basically those one-click uh, AI content writers that basically you, cl you click once and the article just pops out, and that's it, okay? Those are convenient, and I've tried a few of them. They're very, very convenient, but they were kind of poor. They were really poorly written, <laughs> and it was... I mean, was it was it readable? Yeah, but it was it was kind of like on a borderline between junk and readable. It was kind of like in that gray zone. So those tools will, won't work, right? And other tools that don't won't work is the AI tools that tend to copy other articles and you know just cut, cut and paste and then rewrite it. That's not going to work either with this up with this new update. I'll tell you what what does work and how to how to use a, how you can still use AI tools with this update. And the first is you create your your article for uniqueness, okay? So you have to make sure that it's unique and you have to make sure that it is well written. All right? So let me check to let me show you how I check and make sure that an article is uh, unique. The very first thing I do, and this is the one I, I like to use, this is my AI choice. I like to go ahead and uh, let me show you uh, let me not, maybe not this one. <laughs> Let me show you a uh, pre-written. Let me, let me get a pre-written one. Let me see. How about this one? Okay. So I'll just copy this. All right. And then from here, let's say this is an article I'm, I'm just using this little snippet right here and i copy the the article and then i go into grammarly and i go ahead and plop it in here control v i set the presets in here for domain intent audience and formality click done and from here, I make sure I get as high of an overall score as I possibly can. All right, so I do my basic editing. Okay, and if it makes sense, I go ahead and, and, and correct it. All right. And yeah, it, I, I see the irony, like, yes, I'm using it, an AI tool to correct another AI tool's work. But I want to make sure I get the highest possible score here, the highest readability score here. And make sure that it looks good. It's clear, engaging, just right. And I want to make sure that this this score now really, really matters. All these boxes have to be checked and very, very high uh, in order for your your piece to rank well in Google. So that's how I, I that's one pro way I, I I use AI tools, right? So I use 
Um, whatever I, AI content writer, I, I prefer writer. I'll leave a link in the description below because it's it's good value for money. And then, but I don't leave, I don't just paste whatever it, it produces. I run it through Grammarly. I then go ahead and uh, edit it for grammar and also clarity and make sure that it's all these are as high as I possibly can. And then I also check for plagiarism. Remember, you want to make sure that it's unique. Okay, 100% unique. That's original. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so now that it's readable and unique, the, the question is how do you produce the content? All right, so that it, it's engaging, that it's, um, you know, not rewritten, that it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's made for people first. And that's easy. You have to modify the use of the way you use article writing. So instead of just, you know, using it normally, putting your keyword here, click enter, copy and paste this, and then, um, you know, running it through Grammarly. What I do, you have to do one more step. Uh, I like to go to the out outline, blog outline. Uh, let me go back. Let me go to... blog yeah, let me go back to the blog outline I just type in the keyword I want to you know want to write about let's say I go to AI tools okay and then I'll let it write for me but I won't I may use this I may use this outline I may not what I would do is I take an article that I like let's say AI tools I'll look for AI tools. I'll look for a really, really uh, trending uh, article on AI tools. All right, maybe this one here. And then from here, I know what you're thinking. Oh, copy and paste it. Nope. Remember what I said? Rewriting another article is not going to work anymore with this update. Instead, what I do is I take the... The, the 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 title and the the, the subheadings, all right? And now, oops, this becomes my skeleton, all right, for my article. So I do the same for this. I'm just gonna do a few more. Maybe this one here. And then maybe one more. Okay, so you get the idea. So now I have the, the, the skeleton of a well-performing article and then whatever whatever uh, text is here is generated by AI and therefore it's it's unique and it's written for the person. Now, if I want to mix and match, I can, all right? Uh, I can go ahead and add this in here. Right. So... So, all right, so maybe I'll add this is one, number one, but this is number two, but this is number three, and number four. Okay, so now I got the skeleton of a, a high performing article. Now, I, and I reverse engineered, you know, what, what is the main ingredients for that article. Now I use the AI to flesh it out. So I highlight this, click paragraph. And wait for it to do its magic. And there you go. Okay, do the same thing for the next one. Paragraph. Okay. And and you get the idea. I don't have to keep doing this uh, over and over again. Now, I have a uh, article that's customized. It has a very solid skeleton that's tested out in the wild, out in the Google search engine wild. The this, this skeleton has been tested. But the, the content is unique. It's not rewritten. It's unique. Now I take this, this article here, and I go ahead and plop it in the Grammarly for clarity and to check for uniqueness. And that's how you use AI tools. See? Right out the bat, it's 83. That's not, I mean, in the past, I might cut it, but not anymore. And 37% plagiarism is a little bit too high. So now you have to rewrite it and, and use this AI tool to increase the overall score and lower the plagiarism. Once that is done, you're good to go. You can pay, you can paste uh, post it 
or you can use it in your script or whatever. But that's how you need to use AI tools now. It ta- I know it's a bit uh, involved. Yes, it takes a few more steps. But at this point, you want to make sure that your, your content ranks and that it's readable and that it's, it's unique and engaging. So, you know, why not just take the few extra steps? Because if you don't, you're just wasting your time anyway. So I, I just want to put that out there. AI tools still work. I mean, if it didn't work and there were no money involved in it, then all these AI tools on the market would just cease to exist, right? Because, you know, they're out of a job but they still work it depends on how you use it if you take this if you just basically take whatever this is uh click one click one button copy paste and put this directly into your you know into your uh your post it's not going to work like that but if you take the subheadings of a very very good article right the title and the subheadings of an article use it as a skeleton flesh it out with ai and then you know revise for clarity and uniqueness that will work so i want to really stress that really really hit that point home and of course you can add your own you know unique style to it your own idea and perspective into here if you'd like to but that it it all depends on how you use it all right so i I, I want to hit that point home you know the sky isn't falling ai tools still work but you have to use it smart you have to work smart not not stupid and lazy all right i just want to really be very clear about that so there's one click article writers those ai writers or one click article writers that's not going to work anymore and those one click rewrite someone else's article that's not going to work anymore you have to put a little bit more effort into using these tools all right so if you have any questions uh feel free to leave them in the comment section below i hope this video was helpful and if it was could you please hit the like button as it would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video